Hi guys, my name's Zach and I'd like to welcome you to my channel which is known as Carp Gurus. Carp Gurus can be found on Facebook and also found on YouTube. This is my very first detailed carp fishing video. And I decided after over 20 years of carp fishing that it was time to stop just posting pictures um, and making statuses on Facebook and take you guys along on the journey with me. You will never understand what I went through. You never were a good listener. A good listener. You will never understand what you put me through. home farm fishery so home farm fishery is a heavily stocked water it's only a small water uh, there's carp to around 30 pounds and there's catfish up to 70 pounds i think that specific fish is called split fin or something like that anyway so yeah we're here for 48 hours um, in regard to myself i've not fished home farm for a very long time don't know much about it However, I did fish it a few times um, a very long time ago, around 15 years ago. Um, and during that time, I was successful. I caught one of the biggest carp in the water at 26 pounds. Okay, guys, so here's some info on the plan of attack for the first 24 hours. So we are fishing um, from cabin five. Uh, we've got a fairly, well, fairly deep bay in regard to the rest of the lake. It's around five, six foot. Um, we've got a substantial amount of water really uh, within the first hour of getting everything organized we saw around three or four fish uh, topping I think one was a carp the rest were definitely carp so what I've gone for with it being uh, early spring the weather is still pretty cold um, so I've not gone crazy on the bait I'm basically just using um, inline leads um, supple braided hook links and I'm using uh, mesh PVA bags filled with a mixture of pellet and crushed boilies um, and I'm using on the actual hair rig a combination of uh, cream seed bottom baits uh, 18 mil and uh, some pop-ups uh, white pop-ups coconut flavor just to see which uh, works out best so yeah we are using four rods uh, that's because I'm here with the wife so it's basically two rods each um, so I've got rods basically in the open water where um, fish have been topping we've got the right hand rod out to the margin that's more specifically for the catfish so that's a combination of a big uh, 40 mil catfish pellet and then we've topped that off with a big bunch of worms so we'll show you a video of that later so yeah one uh, dedicated catfish rod and three carp rods out in this area where we've seen carp topping so yeah that's a plan of attack for 24 hours and uh, yeah, I'll update you shortly. <laughs> time so it's now around 9 p.m and there is in regard to catching fish nothing to report so as an overview of what i've been doing today 
uh, here's the update so I've been fishing adjustable zig rigs um, for all of today and it is a tactic as I said earlier that's very rarely used on here so we did four rods on that today me and the missus and nothing happened so we had a change of tactic again we fished all day on the zigs and then we have now switched to one rod on the zig with a bait popped up uh, two foot off the bottom white pop-ups which i'm very confident in and then the other three rods are fished on helicopter rigs and hinge stiff rigs so there is like i said earlier loads of silt and bottom debris so we thought that'd give us the best chance um, so yeah, they'll be fishing like that, three rods on the helicopter rigs with the stiff hinge rigs, or the rod on the adjustable zig. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I've got something to report uh, for you during the night. If not, obviously I'll check in again on the morning. Good morning guys. So yeah, this is the final update. I'm now packed up uh, and on my way home. Looking forward to a nice shower and kicking back, as you do uh, after a carp fishing session. So last night then, uh, the left hand rod, which was the adjustable zig rig, uh, popped up two foot off the bottom with a white pop up, 18 mil. That absolutely screamed off uh, around 2, 3 a.m. So rushed out the cabin, struck into it, but there was nothing there. So I definitely got done by something. Don't know if it was a cat or a cat, but I did get done over. Um, it can happen sometimes to be honest it is one of the reasons why i stopped using the um older style way of fishing zigs with the big long rigs you know using a marker flow plumb in the depth and then putting a big long rig on i like the adjustables because i use a two foot rig and i can cover as much water as i want without having a big long rig because that does uh, increase your risk of uh, losing fish uh, awkward runs and it can make netting difficult if you're using like I don't know an 11 foot rig for example so that is why I'm on the adjustable um, but sadly yeah I still struck into nothing um, so yeah that was that um, nothing else happened I did recast the zig rod um, back to the same area but there was nothing else to report so yeah it was a blank had the chance last night but yeah didn't hook um, but yeah, I've enjoyed doing this uh, vlog, especially with it being the first one and I'm sure as the weather warms up, we're only uh, early in March, so yeah, I'm sure as the weather warms up, um, I'll be bringing you much more action, much more footage and much more uh, good time, so see you soon, boom.